Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I'd like to start out a little bit about how this started coming into you and how it might be a little different than some of what we've probably experienced in the past. Um, well, it's a beautiful story because I was being a mommy and a wife, you know, daughter, sister, friend, all of that, just going about my regular life, always living of heart, you know. And then when my kids got older, all of a sudden everything began to turn on, right? Because as that ancient being back in embodiment, it was time to be turned on to put the codes in the field of creation to assist with all of these changes that was going to be happening. So it was a little bit of a process. They began automatic writing and giving me messages, you know. They then um, would move my hands all around my body, you know, energy moving. Then at a certain point they took it. They actually levitated me. And after levitation, about a couple of months after that, then the light language just actually came through. So the work has been a bit of a progression. And then lastly now, the number is coming through, which are very, very powerful. So I'm so excited to share that with all of you. So, yes, I do speak the languages of light, but then also came through the language of the Akash, which is to rewrite the Akash. And then the number, sacred key code. So it was a bit of progression, but everything naturally. Didn't study, didn't travel anywhere, being of heart and being, bringing through that beingness, you know, that we were speaking of, right, as our future selves whispering to us, right, because there is no time. So being able to bring that through to assist everyone as they stand back in their remembrance, taking back their divine birthright and their sovereignty and their power of that which they are upon this beautiful journey that we're upon, you know. Yeah. Now, we did some number of key code work with me. Uh, my hands were literally buzzing. I, I cannot stop looking at that piece of paper. It literally <laughs> feels like it's my internal, like, uh, salvation code. It is. There's something amazing about it. I want to understand more about the key code. Tell me about this. I think most of us get life language, but we're going to talk about that mm -hmm. too. But the key codes, mm -hmm. tell me well, what is that? Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, everything is energy, right? That's what we are at the base level. You know, consciousness, awareness is energy that has become conscious, and that's the expression of life, knowing itself as all that it is, all that it is not. So that everything is energy. You know, this goes beyond language, thusly why sounds through the language of light. And then we also go beyond sounds where we are giving energy packets of information, pockets of holding so much information through the numbers that are holding that. Um, there are people here about the sacred geometrics, right, that are built. And how are they built? Those are built on numbers, right? Packets and pockets of energy that come and build. And that's why they extended my name from Audrey Light Language to Soul Architect Energy Engineer. Because through this number work, I assist others to stand empowered and also become architects and, and energy engineers. So they are then no longer at the hands of, like you were speaking before earlier, of any other's agenda, right? They stand empowered, and they remember they are creator beings and are creating and go forth and create, again, only under their own agenda, what they would like to do than any other's agenda. So it's breaking through a very powerful way. That's why they call it sacred key codes. So codes open things, and they free you, right? Oh, information, like a computer, that's also information which is freeing, so it comes in the number language. So we get out of our conscious mind, we get out of our filters, we go into the subconscious, the unconscious, um, we go into our multidimensional selves, you know, through numbers, it allows us to access so much, you know, um, which is at the depths of our being, a deep soul level, you know, in consciousness that we are an expression, understands the numbers, you know, 
beyond language and preconceptions and ideas, you know? So it, it feels like like a passcode in a way, like sort of a multidimensional yes. passcode to our higher dimensional self, like, you know, out of this one level of access into another. Yes, just like a computer, right? I, I would tell people I loved my old computer, but at a certain point they couldn't fix it anymore because, you know, they said, yeah, I wouldn't want to use it you know, today. I'd be in trouble. Right. Right? Sorry, ma'am. Communicate, ex- right? <laughs> exactly. The one system does not acclimate with the other any longer, right? And we're mm-hmm. on the fast track now. This is our evolution, quantum level jumping on our evolutionary journey. So those numbers assist us with that quantum leap. Just like if people think of the computer, you needed an upgraded system. And so that's what we're doing, right? Our vehicles are being updated and upgraded so we can acclimate to all that light that is pouring back into us out of the experiment of forgetting, right? So when you were saying a lot of people feeling pains and aches, my yeah. work, I've come to do that to assist them and go through this in a much more gentle way when they're acclimated to the energy rather than being shocked by it, you know? We are going to be talking a lot about why this is happening and what is happening, but I thought it would be kind of interesting, maybe one or two minutes, if we have an opening and, and there's a message maybe or just a taste of some energy for you all to entrain us into some of this new dimensional frequency. If we could do that, uh, opening up the call, I think it would set us on a great path to some big layers opening up. Yes, exactly, and I would I would love that. And again, um, we can speak and speak and speak, but it's so wonderful to also get beyond the languages and the limitations that language plays, right, because it's like a whole new horizon. So to just sit, relax, take a breath who, for whoever needs to take a breath, and I'm going to bring it through for them. So as you're saying, we could set a nice uh, energy as we go forward here. So beautiful ones, uh, just relax and receive, and here we go. So never see Bona Galactic, dimensional, multidimensional. Now the fairies, touch that inner child. Make that a little bit more gentle for you guys. Here we go. are very wonderful, um, conscious, aware, um, beautiful vibration beings. So right away, right, they were able to come in and jump into that galactic, cosmic, multidimensional use with those clicking sounds, you know, and those beings and languages and uh, the language of the Akash, again, to jump in there and with authority to rewrite it. So that was wonderful, guys. So hope. How are you doing, Darius? How are you? <laughs> Doing good. Beautiful. I love it. It's it's like we're all sort of entrained now in this beautiful space, this higher dimensional grid, but yet our own truth can still just flow in a big way. And I want to hear what are your questions and what you started feeling as we opened up some of that energy today. And already some beautiful things coming in. Uh, here's a question. Why? Why now? Why is this coming through? And what is the purpose of the language, the codes, and also some of the different dimensions that you talk about, the elementals and the fairies actually coming in to share this with the planet Earth. Well, you know, the fairies and the elementals, this is their planet. You know, it is their home and the ancient ones true. as well. Pardon you me. know, and <laughs> exactly. And so they were here um, before, mm. you know, in original points, before what I call the experiment of forgetting, right? This is what we have gone through to know that which we are not, yet which we are, which lurks in the lower vibrations, right? Which we went to explore and experience. And why now? 
because now is an opportunity that was promised us when we came into the experiment of forgetting of ourselves, right, as creator beings, of our part of it in the selfhood, to remember, to pour the light back in, right, because we had gone down, down, down in density to explore polarity, you know, and duality and the things of nightmare that was birthed forth from that, the parasitic plague that you speak of, but that has caused a, a stagnation within existence itself because it's not only here in Gaia, this is throughout all of existence, you know. So we come, as you're saying, from a future point to our past, but this eternal now moment to assist to get out of the stagnation because stagnation is a contradiction to life. Life is about motion and movement, right? Energy, vibration, motion, movement. And so we come to close the book on that, cut the tapes, right? Sew up the loose edges of that. And now we are being able to, in this huge opportunity, as you were speaking of earlier to everyone, the turning of the cycle, right? So this is a huge turning of the cycle because time is not linear. It spirals and cycles. So this is a huge cycle that is going on that we can take advantage of this and step back into our remembrance, recall that which we are, our sovereignty, our divine birthright as creator beings, and pour the light back in. And the codes and the numbers and the languages are assisting us with that because our physical vessels to hold that light, you know, or just ourselves to get out of the old stories, you know, and tapes that have played and held us stuck for eons and eons and eons, you know, so to get out of those old habits and to step into remembrance. So that's why this is all happening. It's our evolution, you know, quantum leap. Hello and welcome. This is Derry Sparazande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're gonna get access not only to a free gift that's gonna double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also gonna get to be a part of the US Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.